So before I got around to actually putting together the video for today and uploading, I was checking everything, and Notepad++, as it turns out, has a vulnerability as of yesterday, writing the art this article was written, and probably found, what, when? Uh, May 5th? Oh, yeah. Um, found a little bit later. But yeah. Severe, so it's basically privilege escalation vulnerability in Notepad++ based on the way that it runs the installer. So it affects the Notepad++ 8.8.1 installer, not necessarily the program itself, but you probably have similar concepts working in the program itself with current working directory, which, yeah. The vulnerability affects Notepad++ 8.8.1 installer released on May 5th, exploiting an uncontrolled executable search path that enables local privilege escalation attacks. Security researchers have identified that the installer searches for executable dependencies in the current working directory without proper verification. So this is just a matter of a certain hierarchy or order of search paths for certain libraries. It's actually really common for something like this to happen in a lot of older programs. It's just the way that things were done and it made life a lot simpler in some ways because what it allowed you to do is download a certain DLL, have it installed in the local directory or downloaded to the local directory and be able to run your program. I used it for games a few different times in the past. So, it's fair. It also works with various other kinds of files in a lot of programs. Is like, oh, we found the thing in the current working directory, so we're going to use that. It's easy to overlook because it's easy to just want to do that and do that by default. This security flaw represents a significant risk due to the minimal user interaction required for exploitation. The attack vector leverages a standard Windows DLL search order mechanism allowing attackers to place malicious executables that are automatically loaded with elevated privileges during the installation process. Again, this is a pretty easy thing to overlook because it's been standard since forever. So, yeah, it's... And it's really easy to fix, honestly. The exploitation process is straightforward and demonstrates the dangerous simplicity of binary planting attacks. Attackers can place a malicious executable such as a compromised regserve 32 exe in the same directory as Notepad++ installer because it's going to reference that if it needs to and use that as the reference rather than the system one that's installed. When unsuspecting users run the installer, the system automatically loads the malicious file with, the system, with system privileges, granting attackers complete control over the target machine. This is also an issue of w the way that programs are installed on a Windows machine. If you could install certain programs at the use in the user space without having system access to do it, then you would have a better security structure for being able to do it. And this is kind of a back and forth between the way Windows works and the developers of these programs and the installers that they use. So in a lot of ways, you could say that Flatpak, an implementation like Flatpak would be a lot better to work with or installing from, I guess, the Windows Store, depending on how they do it, would work better because you would be able to more easily sandbox it to the user rather than giving it system privileges straight away. So the process monitors logs provided in the proof of concept materials clearly demonstrate the installer's vulnerability by showing its search for executables in the current directory. The publicly released demonstration includes video evidence confirming successful exploitation, raising serious concerns about potential widespread abuse. Again, this is probably not just an issue with Notepad++. It's probably also a program with a problem with a lot of other programs and the way that they operate. So, let me... So, they... Okay, yep, we're running an end cap.
fresh download in a cool cool why why do they have to make the download link look like one of the goofy download me ads and where's your ad blocker honestly i guess if it's on a fresh system it halfway makes sense but anyway so they downloaded it to the downloads directory and now they've got the NCAT connection, Notepad++ is opened, and now in the background, now they've got shell access. So now, let's see, authority system, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty bad. But, and that was using a compromised binary there right in the current working directory of where they were installing it from. So it references it and it uses those system libraries to install the program. Not necessarily a problem, you, you might say, depending on other factors like, oh, if you've already got an established one installed, but it could also be a problem in the regular, your normal install, because if you've got that same thing in the current working directory, that same program, it may or may not reference the, it may or may not reference that executable rather than the system one. Notepad++ maintains a substantial user base globally with the software's official website receiving over 1.6 million Monthly visits as of June 2025. Vulnerability poses particularly severe risk given Notepad++ Plus's popularity among developers, IT professionals, and general users across various industries. The software's widespread adoption in corporate environments significantly amplifies the potential impact of successful attacks, potentially leading to data breaches. Lateral movement within networks and complete system compromise. This is kind of an issue of... Also, not having your network secured properly, if you don't have everything properly isolated and between networks, then yeah, that can also be a problem. It's also an issue of you whether users are allowed to install programs or if the program is being installed by IS or whoever manages the IT infrastructure. And whether they're aware and make sure that their environment is clean for it. This incident represents part of a growing pattern of installer vulnerabilities affecting popular software applications. Previous Notepad++ versions have faced similar security challenges, including CVE-2023-6401 and CVE-2023-4745-2, which are also involved DLL hijacking privilege escalation vulnerabilities. Again, this has to do with the installer in this aspect and any other program that uses a similar installer which a lot of open source programs use the same basic installer for their programs those installers may also be vulnerable as well depending on how they have it configured Vulner or the setup for packaging the installer configured. The vulnerability aligns with current cybersecurity threat trends where attackers increasingly target trusted software distribution mechanisms. And according to the 2025 Global Security Outlook, su supply chain attacks and software installer vulnerabilities represent critical emerging threats in the current security landscape. This also comes down to the fact that a lot of Windows infrastructure is built off of um, single-click installers, well, installers, and has been for ages. And yes, you trust the software, the place that you're getting software from. But this also depends on you having a compromised executable somewhere along the way, or DLL hijacking, or an attacker being able to Go to that trusted site, compromise it, and then compromise the executable and install a malicious library in there as well. It, it is still possible across the board, even with repository installs like on Linux. It's fully possible for an attacker to get into a repository that's trusted by many, many users and compromise a repository, thereby infecting many, many systems 
that use that particular repository. So, mitigation and response Notepad++ developers have responded swiftly by releasing version 8.8.2 to address the critical vulnerability. The patch implements security library loading practices and absolute path verification to, for executable dependencies. Following Microsoft's secure loading guide, guidance, users are strongly advised to update immediately to the patch version to eliminate the security risk. Security experts recommend implementing additional protective measures, including running installers from secure isolated directories and maintaining updated endpoint security solutions capable of detecting binary planting attacks. Organizations should also consider implementing application whitelisting and enhanced monitoring of installation processes. This is where verifying your hashes of your installers comes into play. But in this case, the installer didn't necessarily need to have its... It would have passed the hash test. What was the issue was the referenced library executable that they use in this process and where it came from. So that was simply mitigated by using an absolute path for a system binary over that. But even then, you've got to verify your hashes of your programs otherwise. The incident underscores the critical importance of secure software development practices, particularly regarding installer design and dependency loading mechanisms and trusted applications. As cyber threats continue to evolve, the security community emphasizes the need for proactive vulnerability management and rapid response to emerging threats affecting widely used software platforms. Anyway, everybody loves Notepad++. Always remember that, you know, the supply chain can be compromised see Hamas in Israel if you liked the content if you enjoyed it if you think I deserve it like comment subscribe leave any criticisms you have or what have you I appreciate it feed that algorithm like I said and I will see you guys in the next one